Baby Galupan, Bongo, and of course the team manager is Nasha Gota. Well, they seem to be satisfied so far with the performance of their gang on the tour. Arnie Twanless scoops it in. Right. Omarill having some problems picking up guys who know how to move to the basket, like Twanless and Cesar earlier. Freddy Ubalde with a fake. And a foul called against Banati. And Banati is claiming all I did was hold up my hands like an umbrella. So what's so wrong with it? <laughs> that was a tapal. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Ubalde. One time MVP back in 77. This is the 10th anniversary of the sending one that the plot, Dr. Jerry. That's right. We have uh, Ito Isguera being replaced right now by a Freddy Ubalde partner. Ito Isguera, incidentally, is also going to celebrate his birthday very soon. Uh, that means Sunday, August 2nd. And that's happy birthday to Ito Isguera. Mamaril controlling the defensive board. They're just down by seven, ten minutes left here. And Ubalde from the three-point territory, and he scores, partner. You can see it coming. Well, the guy could feel his hand burning, and they better keep a tight watch on him. Randy Fabiosa goes to allocate it. He's the rifle man, and he has his rifle completely jammed. Arnie Fondes, likewise, is not getting very many shooting opportunities. Allen, on court, and still misses. Oh, but another good pickup for the great taste coffee makers. Sandoval could not control the boards in that play. Six point lead for Great Taste, nine and a half to go. We're in the third period, one team fall apiece. Freddy Huvalde, let's see if the shooting streak continues. Broken right here. Loose ball foul. Foul for the Banate. You like the attitude of Momaril. He knows when his teammates are going for the shot. He goes to the offensive board. That allows him a chance at a follow up. That's the fourth personal, incidentally. And Tarpio sheds his jacket to replace Noli Banate. Willing to allow the pair to end on from the left side line, and as we expected, the crowd continues to strong here at the Ultra as we approach the main game tonight, which we'll see in ever San Miguel taking on a very important assignment, as important as the San Juan assignment at hand. They will be going up against Magnolia. Good shot there by Willing and allow his first two points of the ball game. That cuts down the great pace lead to only four at this point, 70 to 66, and a backing violation called against Kaide. The bad pass came from Fabiosa, who apologizes to the bench. Well, let's see if Tanguay can exploit these breaks coming their way. Yes, they really should, because uh, Great Taste did not really commit that many turnovers. Inside game to Mamaril, they have to take it. No offensive rebounding. Carnage won the spirits aboard, and he breaks it down top himself. Bernie against Willie. Get a Cesar in a three-point region. Arnie Gondes gets a pick from Fabiosa. Fontalos onto the basket, did not pay up. Mamarilla serving wide and main off the board. And here comes Willie Hamala on a fast shoot. A nonchalant shot put up by Freddy Ubalde. The shooting stain for Freddy is over. Good steal there by Fernandez. He was one against two, but he came up with the steal. The way he did that, you think he was Freddy Fabiosa. That's yeah. right. Freddy comes through. And Tandoi now coming on very strong. You know, in the uh, first conference, uh, Joe, we saw a lot of rallies from Tanduay at the start of the third quarter. Right now, they're just down by two, and they could equalize on this succeeding play. Freddy Ubalde running side by side with Arnie Twanles. He gets the foul from Arnie. Freddy's not a veteran for nothing, you know. He was not going to be blocked. Knows how to use his body. You can see that as he drives. He's going up against two defenders, Twanles and the other one is Philip Cesar, but he knows how to get the foul. All the marks of Soviet experience were stacked on that piece of action. Unfurled by Freddy Gamalte. He just came through with his first charity. Okay, Sandwai now has a chance to equalize. And we have a spate of substitutions for Vivi the Luban, Atto Ico, Noli Robles, and Alan Kaidik, or just two of them. Yes, coming in for Bernard Fabiosa and Arnie Twadis. Vivi the Luban realizes the momentum swinging to the side of uh, the Sandwai Ram makers trying to come up with uh, fresh troops. And you can see he's really using his steps, you know. Great taste really spotted Tanduai very much in the uh, first quarter, but then they came on very strong. And guess what? We have the very first deadlock of the wall game in our hands, and after he could just threw the ball away. And he's called off the bench, you know, partner, and uh, there was mis miscommunication between him and Kaidik, so an opportunity now for Tanduai to take the lead in this quarter. Well, if they do, it's a bit of a lot of fly for them. One for 
Can't seem to shake off Philip Cesar. A lot of moves there by Fernandez to follow up by Mamarin. Last touch on Joey Carpio. Well, that follow up didn't have a chance.